Hi, in this video we will remove all unnecessary from Windows 10 to make it the same as Windows Enterprise LTSC and see if it will become the same on demand into resources. Let's test it. And then we will also optimize the system so that it becomes faster than all stock versions of Windows, including the 7s and 8s. In fact, this video is a continuation of our last Windows 10 Home vs LTC, so if you haven't watched it yet, watch, you'll learn a lot of new and useful things. Now let's start transforming. We have just installed Windows 10 Home for tests, and the goal is to make Windows 10 LTC out of it. You already know from our videos that it differs in that it lacks many standard applications. That's why it is lighter and requires fewer resources. Therefore, our main task is to remove all standard applications from this system. How to do it? The first place where the logic leads us is the Application Settings section, where you can delete them. Indeed, here we can very simply delete many standard programs with the appropriate button, but in other apps the delete button is inactive. There is also something that should not be removed. These are drivers and, for example, sets of libraries that will be needed in games or certain programs. Then we can follow the link Additional Components and here delete everything that we do not need, for example, the remaining Internet Explorer, WordPad, Face Recognition and Fax Service, if you are not using it. Below is another link, other components, here are also services that are not always needed, for example, an internet print client and a tool for working with XPS documents. As you can see, after this step there are fewer standard programs, but there are still many left. We proceed to the next step, open the PowerShell as administrator and write such a command. For convenience you can find all comments in the description for the video. It displays a list of all installed standard Microsoft programs and additional packages required for these programs to function. The command implies the output of information in two columns. On the left a short name, on the right a full one. Based on this list you can delete built-in applications with the following command. Between the asterisks there is a short name of the program or even some kind of keyword. Then all programs with this word or character set in the name will be deleted. To remove programs for all users, add hyphen all user. In this way we can selectively remove all built-in programs that we do not need. Before you now and below in the description there is a list of short application names that you can safely delete. A red error code may appear if this program has already been uninstalled in another way. Our goal now is to transform our system into an enterprise one, so we will remove all standard applications. To do this we use the following command. The processor has started. Please note that a lot will be removed, including the Microsoft Store and related services. The only thing is this command does not affect the Edge browser. It will remain as it is by default in Windows 10 LTC. Here is how the list thinned out after removing the standard apps. Another point to do is turn off the telemetry services that track your activity and transmit information to Microsoft servers. They also affect performance. To do this, open the services, find this, connected user experiences and telemetry. Turn it off completely. In the privacy settings check these points, they are also better to be disabled. And finally open the task scheduler, find Microsoft, Windows, Application Experience section and disable all three telemetry tasks. After that, the Microsoft will stop watching your PC. To turn off the weather and news icon, right-click on it, select news and interests, disable. In the application settings section, auto load, turn off the automatic loading of the Edge browser. In start, remove shortcuts that remained here. Press right mouse button. Delete or detach something from the start screen. Go to the personalization settings, teams section and select a dark team. That's all. 
our system is absolutely identical to Windows 10 LTSC. Only the applications that we need for tests are installed. And outwardly everything is very similar. And inside too. So you can fully enjoy a licensed home or professional Windows 10 with the latest updates and have maximum performance. Our conclusions about the identity of the systems will be confirmed by the task manager. We restart PC and let it come to a stable state. And what we see? Our Windows 10 Home consumes 1.4 GB of RAM, just like the enterprise version. At the same time, even fewer processes are running. We have disabled some of the services that come by default. At the moment, we can say that we have achieved the goal of this video. The system consumes the same amount of resources and the performance will be the same, we already understood this from the last video with tests. But what prevents us from going further and optimizing the system even better? Let's do one more simple move. I will try to run on this system the free advanced system care and then the rag organizer. The first program has excellent functions for modifying the registry and disabling unnecessary ones. This will speed up the system and the internet. And in the second program there are still some changes to the registry to optimize the system, its loading and the internet. Everything is pretty simple in automatic mode. We run these fixes and after that we delete these programs from the PC. Now let's run a couple of tests for comparison. I will not describe in detail the conditions of the experiments, how they were carried out, on which computer. You can see all this in the last issue. I'll just show you the results after our optimization. In the sign bench R23 benchmark, our system set a new record, outperforming all other versions of Windows in the stock state. In the benchmark Prime95, there is also a record. It is interesting that these data can be compared even with the tests of the most undemanding systems. 32 bit 7s and 8s. Our optimized system turned out to be more productive than their stock options. I hope you like this option for converting your Windows system. You may also want to make your system lighter and more efficient. Use our videos to do this, subscribe and hit a bell. Also support the promotion of this video with your comments. This is very important for us. See you on there, friends. Mm -hmm.